This is Thursday's KCTV English News. I'm Hyung Shim. Jeju World Natural Heritage Center found the water passage in the lava beds of Manjangul lava tube system. The discovery was made during an investigation to find the causes of flooding inside Manjangul and Yongcheon Cave during heavy rainfall. Researchers found rainwater permeating into the cave's lava bed and collecting at an impermeable clay layer. This caused water to flow along the clay layer and pump through the cracks of the cave walls. The center said this discovery has academic value as it will enable researchers to observe the characteristics of rainwater flowing into the underground and provide valuable data for future research. Numerous unfair hiring practices in local public enterprises were recently uncovered with charges not being filed in most cases. The Ministry of Interior and Safety conducted a nationwide investigation for hiring process at local public enterprises from last November through this January, and it found 57 cases of unfair hiring practices in Jeju. 37 cases were given warnings, while 19 were required to improve the hiring system. Only one case was put under disciplinary action, but no particular action has been taken yet. Fall foliage on Halasa Mountain is forecasted to peak this weekend. The Halasa National Park Office predicts that the fall foliage, which has been spreading down from Pengnukdam, will reach its peak by the end of this week at Orimok, 970 meters above sea level. Visitors can view this spectacular transition at Orimok Valley from Manse Dongsan. Trekkers can also enjoy the rich colors at Yongshe Cliff, which is at elevations of between 1,500 and 1,600 meters, Yongjinggak and Wangan Rock. Don't miss the mesmerizing sight up in Halasan Mountain. In related news, the Halasan National Park Office has changed climbing times on Halasan Mountain. Hikers will have until noon to enter the Orimok and Yongshe Trail. Those entering Witseodon will have to start 30 minutes earlier by 1 p.m. The cutoff time for leaving the Azalea Field Shelter on the Songpanak Trail has also been shortened half an hour to 12 p.m. All of the changes will be in effect from next month through next February. The office is advising people to check the weather forecast and prepare proper clothing and equipment before hiking. Admissions, mainly based on college scholastic ability test scores, are expected to increase to more than 30 percent from the coming 2022 school year. This change will be applied to current first-year high school students. Prime Minister and Minister of Education Yu Eun-hae revealed the following plan in accordance with President Moon Jae-in's speech at the National Assembly regarding the increase in the regular admissions on the 22nd. However, she added that the expansion of regular admissions will be focused on universities in Seoul, which currently have a high percentage of students admitted through early decision. The ministry will announce plans to enhance fairness in the college entrance system, including the expansion of regular admissions in next month. A local volunteer group is helping multicultural families in tough financial circumstances who need critical repairs or modifications to their home. Volunteers enjoy surprising emotional benefits by giving back. Mike Delta reports. The inside of this apartment in Samyangdong, Jeju City, is tidy and clean, like a newly built house. The bathroom, recently moldy with leaky pipes, has been transformed to new condition. The apartment's old boiler has been replaced with a new machine. No more worries about heating. These changes have been made through the voluntary efforts of the Byongju Rotary Club the first beneficiary is a Vietnamese widowed single mother who lives with her seven-year-old son. The family was selected at the recommendation of the Cheju Multicultural Family Support Center. Along with a home facelift, new furniture and home appliances were provided. Members of the Rotary Club involved in the construction business participated in the skill-based volunteering work for a month. They learned that volunteering makes themselves happier. The repair job was almost the equivalent of building a new home, as every corner of the house needed work. Members got much closer while working together on the project. There are 20 single-parent multicultural families that don't have their own home on the island. The Rotary Club is planning to continue to voluntarily help multicultural families in tough financial circumstances who are in need of home improvement. Mike Balfour, KCTV.
Appreciate the colorful scenes of Jeju painted with various forms of light at Shinsan Park. Beauty Natural Park is hosting a festival based on colorful pink muli, a type of ornamental grass with vibrant pink tails. Enjoy local culture, musical performances, and the island's natural beauty in the 2019 Jeju Ole Walking Festival. Enjoy a unique and modern take on the works of Gustav Clinton Hunterbuster at the new Bunker de Lumiere. Korean and international movies are being screened for free at 3 p.m. Tuesday through Saturday at the Jeju Movie Culture and Arts Center in Tapdong. The popular and comedic performance of the Jeju Nanta Company is staged daily at 5 p.m. at the Nanta Theater in Jeju City. Taking a look at our weather, skies will be clear in the morning but become cloudy from the afternoon. For more details, here's your forecast. The morning low in Jeju City will be 17 and the afternoon high will rise to 22 degrees. Down south in Seogipo, we also expect a low at 17 in the morning and a high at 24 in the afternoon. Over in Seongsan, the temperatures will be 16 in the morning, warming up to 22 degrees. Across the island in Gosan, we expect a low of 18 and a high of 21 degrees. And up on the mountain at Seongpanak, We'll hit a low of 11, topping off at 16 degrees. Out on the water, winds will be out of the north and northeast at a speed of 9 to 14 meters per second, with seas between 1.5 and 3 meters. And here's a look at the extended forecast. That's it for today's KCTV English News. Please find us on YouTube at KCTV E-News Jeju and on KCTV's Beauty Service. Hope to see you tomorrow.